This is Will Lindsay Autumn, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed artist, Bronwyn Sweeney. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at his incredible talent with his song, City Lights, part two. Let's go. Ice on a chain like it's ice in a beverage. Brightly on bling like it's lights in a bezel. Thousand dollar dressing on a thousand dollar dressing. Added chicks like Molly want to kick it like Messi. Words like residuals in my vocabulary. In the hills, but I ain't kicking it with creeping cavalry. Shitting on these never think of sanitary. Y'all just thinking being gold, no carry. Thinking boats, no sparrows. Ballys, Murrays. Pedal to the metal, mix the fast with the fury. Sign language conversating with the jury. Start to talk and turn her on like Siri. Uh, just got the update. Cherry on the cupcake. Grind like a love. Make Betty crack a love cake. I'm a killer dog, one take, nigga one take Tell me why I wait, bezel on a day just really That's a blind day, boomerang, bet it's coming back to the first place I'm rocking with Hallies and y'all rocking with strange days I make it look easy, fight for going west, wait, lift it for the Yeezys You think I had a genie, three V's, three keys, control all, delete me I'm doing my thing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing my thing I'm doing my thing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. Well, hello, Bronwyn. How are you? Man, I'm doing wonderful today. How about yourself? Bronwyn, doing so much better, not only because I'm finally meeting you, but because the audience got a sneak peek of not only an incredible song, but a really beautifully made music video. Talk to me about two things. One, what was the reasoning impetus behind the creation of the song and also the concept behind the music video? So I think getting into what gave me the motivation and what pushed me to create music in general was just the uh, scene here in Houston. I'm from Houston, Texas. You know, I grew up here, spent all my life here, and I got to just fall in love with what the music scene is here. It's, here. it's like, it's its own thing. We have our own sound, our own feeling. And it's just like, I get energized and motivated by them lights in the city. When the, when the sun goes down and this building start to light up, it just gives you a crazy feeling. So that was the motivation behind the song. And the music video was just basically me saying, I want the focus to be on myself and on my city. So I went downtown Houston one night with my crew and uh, we got to shooting. And then we just put some stuff together and it came out pretty good, I think. I think more than pretty good, my friend. It looks like a freaking short film if you want me to give you my uh, New York honest take on it all. But also what I love so much, Bronwyn, that you did with that is that I think you captured the magic of what happens when a major city goes bright against the darkness of the sky. And I think also on top of that, the magic of what it feels like at times, you captured that feeling one can feel of sometimes maybe feeling like the only person awake at night. And you captured that beautifully. I don't know if that's what you were going for, but it that's how it exactly. read to me. Exactly. And, and obviously I liked here, don't compare to what you guys got out in New York, but just being from here, like I, I live close enough to see, you know, the complete downtown scene lit up at nighttime. And uh, it's like that, you know, you got your moments where it's busy, it's busy, it's busy, and then it just settles to where it's a calm, like literally you could just take a stroll and there's not much going on or look both directions and maybe there's a car passing, but it's just you. And that's a good feeling to feel safe and to feel comfortable in that environment, I think is more important than anything. But, you know, that's what we fall in love with. Some Houstonians is just that feeling of just ultimate comfort in your city and your space. Absolutely. Well, listen, I love Houston. And even though I'm a born and bred New Yorker, I'm not one of those like New Yorkers are like New York, the best, nothing like No, I think every major city in this country has its own flavor and has its own authenticity. And I love cities that kind of are unapologetic about who they are and the people that are from it, the fervent, you know, whether it's from Houston or New York or LA or Boston or Miami, there are people, Chicago, there's this like pride and I freaking love that. And I also love with you, Bronwyn, not only that pride of where you come from, but I want you to talk a little bit about your musical influences growing up because when I'm listening to your musical landscape, it, it, it reminds me of some artists, but it's still very Bronwyn. It's very, authentically you, was that something you did consciously in that you took a lot of your inspirations and kind of just naturally filtered it through you to make it authentic? 
to for for a relatively short answer. So, like I said earlier, you know, Houston kind of has its own thing. It's its its own place. And growing up musically, if you wanted to just focus, you could literally create a playlist or or a collection of music. Uh oh, okay, a collection of music that was completely Houston. So about 2005, there was a a uh, industry explosion with Houston artists like Paul Wall, Mike Jones, Slim Thug. And uh, I was, uh, you know, coming up before the world and the country got to know those people, I was listening to their mixtapes that they would be selling or that you could find at the gas station or the local CD shops. So a lot of my influence did come from the local artists that were from here that I could physically touch or see, you know, at the detail shop or, you know, certain places. And as I got older and started to reach out and, you know, obviously BET and TV jams introduced you to everybody that's all around. I kind of fell in love with that New York sound, like the dip set, you know, diplomats, Jay-Z, back in the black album era. And, you know, it's so it, it's, it's kind of an amalgamation of what I grew up here and here and what I was able to be slightly influenced by other places. I've always been in love with, different things like you see i got the cubs hat on now you know the the miami experience or the new york experience yep. has all intrigued me a lot so i i like to incorporate different things into the music that way maybe somebody from here who's born and bred here and who's not as interested in crossing different borders maybe i'll pique their interest in taking a trip to new york or taking a trip to la because that's what life is all about different Absolutely. perspectives, different experiences, and I try to bring the music. Absolutely, my friend. Well, what I also love about your music, and again, I want to let our audience know for more on the amazing Bronwyn Sweeney, you can read more about him right below this video, is the fact that you go after the best of all these different sensibilities. And, and again, it's just in my head, it's like you're filtering through you as the vessel. And I think that's what makes your sound and your music universal and coming on board this brand new social media app where I've been blessed to talk with artists all over the world. You know, I talk with artists in China, Japan, and Singapore. They are obsessed with Western sensibility. Like, yeah. so I'm hearing your music and I'm like, oh my God, Broadwood would blow up in the East because it's the type of vibe that people in the East are hungry for. And I'm talking yeah. to some people in the West and they're like, some people are randomly obsessed with K-pop and the sounds coming out of the East. So what I'm excited about for you, my friend, is that because you have that open mind to just doing great art, whether it's one genre or another from one city or another, is I'm just excited about the opportunity for you to potentially collaborate with other artists around the freaking world. Is that something that has always interested you? It's funny and, and ironic. We, we, me and but another, a fellow musician, I should say, have a trip planned out to Japan or Tokyo to go ahead and kind of create some content out there. We've uh, we've had con contact and talks with some different artists that are from here, but that have made that pilgrimage, so to speak, out there to create things and create content. And I'm really excited about the future and that. And I'm actually really going to connect with artists because that's the biggest thing. Like, what are we doing if we're not collaborating? What is music if it's not multiple people coming together to create? something important you know what i mean what is yeah. music if we're not doing that who is that that's my come, come on in there come on in there yeah, come on hi this is little bron little bron oh my goodness you're a star my friend <laughs> say hi hi i right, love your glasses <laughs> i love it oh my god you I know they, love they it. hear me talking they can't wait to come listen i want to um i want to leave you with this my friend um you are an incredible talent. I'm so excited for all the things to come for you, but also I'm just excited that we're connected now and that you're on this platform where I know the connection and the hunger that you have to collaborate. I think it's gonna need, it's, it's a need that's gonna be filled because just the, the way that you said it is how these CEOs sync with this app, that what's the point of creating art if you can't connect and collaborate in an easy, fun, viable way with others around the world and uh you're amazing and i'm and i know and despite even if you get if your kid doesn't like you sometimes i'm sure you're an amazing dad 
I try to be. I'm dad first. I'm dad before anything. So, you know, that's something I take seriously. But how cool that, like, you know, when all these kids are bringing, you know, no offense to the lawyers and doctors out there, you know, bring your dad to work <laughs> day. And it's like, my dad's an artist. He's a badass artist. You know, I don't know. I think that's awesome. I don't know how he feels that. And I, I don't know how aware of it he is, but, you know, I've been able to have some success in, in the music space, the TV and film. I heard you mention, you know, uh, your, your involvement with TV and film, but I've been able to have some, some really cool placements. And I mean, that's something that I'm proud of. Like I showed him, we had a placement on a video game, you know, and it's, you know, I tell him, we're looking at the credits, you know, it shows, hey, the name of the song, it shows, it's like, that's our name, you know, so. And that's you know, part of the legacy, you, of you the know, Sweeney you, legacy. You know, I carry on course one day. Listen, Bronwyn, exactly. you are absolutely incredible. Exactly. And I know I didn't mention all the sexy things that you've done in the past, but again, I want to let everyone know, for more on this incredible artist, Bronwyn Sweeney, you can read more about him right below this video. God bless you, my friend. Happy holidays. And thank you so much for your time today.